Huge thank you to Fazebo for partnering with me on this build. I've been really interested in trying out one of these adjustable sit or stand desks for a long time now. More on that later, but be sure to check out the link and discount code down in the video description for a more productive desk setup from Fazebo. Whether you want to build your own top like I am, or look through their many complete desk setups. This was a really fun build, not having any design pre-planned out or anything. I literally walked into my local hardwood supplier and this elm caught my eye, so that's what I went with. As you can see, some of the boards were really pretty wonky, so here I'm just doing an initial milling, getting everything flat, and then I let the material rest until I had time to continue. It was actually several days later when I got back to it, but I was really happy to see, as bad as some of these boards were to start, they bowed back a little bit, but for the most part were still really good. Sometimes if the material moves back really bad again, for one, you might lose too much thickness trying to get it flat again, and depending on what it's for, it might be a better idea to just not use that piece so it doesn't cause any issues. But minimal movement here so I could go ahead and get everything reflattened and taken down to its final size. With some crispy edges coming off the glue line rip blade, I could go ahead and get the three panels glued up. The two big panels are for the top and bottom of the desk, and then the third smaller panel is for all the center divider pieces. I'll explain that more when we get to it. With the panels dry, I could square up the ends and then cut down to final size. Here you can see why I glued that third panel together and then ripped it the opposite way. Here where I live, I definitely have to plan for wood movement with the drastic seasonal humidity changes that we get. And these large panels are going to want to expand and contract across the grain. So if I just glued one regular board to it horizontally, it wouldn't allow the panel to move and cause issues. But by ripping these center pieces so the grain is going the same direction, the whole shell of the desk is basically going to all expand and contract together. Now to put all the pieces together, you guys know I usually like to keep it simple and approachable, so here I'm using dowels. Give me a steel ruler, an awl, and a brad point drill bit, and you can put pretty much anything together, accurately and really pretty quick. I did what I could on the drill press and then switched over to finish the rest by hand with a guide block to make sure their holes were nice and straight. After a quick dry fit to make sure everything fit as it should, I decided to go ahead and mark for a couple more dowels on these two center dividers so they squarely lock into the back piece. Yeah. 
After filling a couple knots that I couldn't avoid in the material with some black CA glue and getting all the inside faces final sanded, it was just a matter of adding the dowels and glue and clamping this thing up to dry. With that drying, I moved on to finishing up the top of the desk. I wanted to add a curve on the front, and my favorite way to do this cleanly is with a template. I cleared most of the material away with a jigsaw first, and then I could clamp the template on to finish it up with a flush trim router bit. To finish it off, I added a small chamfer all around the bottom edge. Really, the only thing left I could do while the main desk was drying was to knock out the two drawer boxes. With the glue dried and clamps removed, one more thing I needed to do was cutting some slots for the tabletop fasteners I'd be using to attach the top. My favorite way to do this is with a biscuit joiner. There's no way for me to show installing these later, so here you can see how they work. The last bit of cutting to do before finish was getting the two drawer fronts taken down to final size and getting the hardware holes drilled. For the finish, I gave my three-year-old daughter some samples, and she chose Rubio Monaco in the color natural. Of course, three-year-olds know best, so that's what I went with. It really is my favorite color on lighter woods that you want to keep looking as natural as possible. Once that was dry, I could start to finish this thing up by first getting the drawers installed. To attach the top, I worked with gravity and flipped everything over, but like I said earlier, it's impossible to video this, but easy peasy getting the fasteners installed with one of these angle drill attachments. Last but not least was getting the Fazebo adjustable height desk base assembled and attached. I went with their Pro two-stage frame and am really impressed with the build quality. Just looking at pictures online, it's hard to judge, but this thing sure is stout. It was quick to put together in just a couple minutes, but I did decide to add some threaded inserts on the bottom of the desk 
so I could use bolts to make it removable without screws stripping out over time. The holes on the frame are already slotted, so that's great to allow for wood movement. This frame here has a height range of just under 28 inches all the way up to 46 and a half if you really want to get up close and personal to whatever you're working on. You can save four different height presets and there are USB ports built into the keypad as well. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, an adjustable desk is something I've really been interested in trying. I really have a problem with sitting still in one place for too long and on long sessions sitting at the computer, like editing this video for example. I have a big problem of needing to get up and walk away for a minute and then that leads to getting distracted by something else and that minute turns into a lot of wasted time. But I'm really, really enjoying this new adjustable desk. Being able to stand and raise up the desk, stretch out my legs and back and get some blood flowing and just keep on working is awesome. Makes me so much more efficient with my time at the computer. Be sure to check out the link down in the video description and use code JOHNBUILDSIT for a 5% discount on any of Fazebo's desks or frames if you want to build your own. As always, I'd really appreciate it if you could give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already. Until next time, take care.